It began in early May 2018. Kilauea, active since 1983, began a months-long eruption on the Lower East Rift Zone, which went on to produce a billion cubic yards of lava. Lava that transformed the landscape, covered roads, and inundated some 700 homes. In the wake of the eruption, Puna Geothermal Venture found itself entirely surrounded by lava. While the facility was largely spared, wells and transmission lines were compromised and our facility was inaccessible. When it was fully operational, Puna Geothermal Venture provided 31% of the island's energy. Without geothermal, there has been an increase in the need for fossil fuels and an increase in energy costs for both residents and businesses on the island. But the future is looking bright. We have already begun to forge a new path to get us back to where we were. Working closely with our oversight partners, we have designed, engineered, and begun clearing a new path to our facility. And with the help of the Kapoho Land Development Company, we are also in the process of creating access for our neighbors who have homes to the east of our facility. This is a project that all of us at Puna Geothermal Venture are proud to be able to fund and execute in support of our nearby community. Final details are wrapping up and we look forward to welcoming these residents home very soon. To Governor David Ige, Mayor Harry Kim, Hawaii Electric Light Company, and all of the local businesses and our community members that have stood by us during this unprecedented event, we can't thank you enough for your support. As we look to the future, Hawaii has mandated that 100% of the state's energy must be renewable by the year 2045. At Puna Geothermal Venture, we look forward to being a positive community partner and doing our part in making this goal a reality through safe, clean, dispatchable, renewable geothermal energy. Mahalo from Puna Geothermal Venture.